guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with another recommendation video for Forced Proximity. I asked my channel members between two different videos whether they wanted Small Town or Forced Proximity, and they overwhelmingly wanted another Forced Proximity romance video. I did this about four months ago, so I can link my original one down below, but these are 10 new recommendations of Forced Proximity, whether they have to live together, they have to travel together, they have to hide out together somewhere, they are forced to be together, and that blossoms into a romance, so I will get to my recommendations. The first one is Five Rounds by Nikki Castle. I absolutely love this book. I need to get myself a physical copy and I'm excited to read book two, but in this one our hero and our heroine absolutely hate each other. Our heroine is best friends with the hero's best friend and it's always been platonic between her and her best friend, but she loses her apartment and is in between places and needs like a week overlap of where she needs a place to stay and her best friend is like, perfect timing, I'm going on a business trip for a week, stay in my room, but that means she has to live in the same house as the hero and he is an MMA fighter. She actually does MMA too and some other kind of fighting things at this gym that the hero trains at and so she sees him a lot and they do not get along at all they do not like each other and so they end up living together and it is so good the tension between them the heat between them they actually fight like practice fighting together and I love that I just had so much fun reading this book and it ended up being very emotional too at the end the hero really shows his emotions and I really appreciated that in our hero so if you like a roommate's romance pick this one up then one I recently just read is Texas Destiny by Lorraine Heath this one is a western and I actually ended up really enjoying it because it's between brothers give me that angst so our heroine is a mail order bride and she has not had a good life and she just wants to get away and get married and so she has been writing to the this one guy, I was gonna say the hero, but it's not. She's been writing to this guy and he's like, hey, why don't you come and marry me? And she's like, okay. So she ends up getting, I think, to Fort Worth, Texas and meeting the guy's brother. And I don't remember, I think it's Houston. The brothers are named after, <laughs> it's like Dallas, Houston, and Austin. Cause they were named after the place in Texas they were born. And so Houston, I believe, is our hero. And he is scarred and he's missing an eye, I believe, but he's like heavily scarred on his face because he was in the Civil War and so he was like 12 when he was forced to fight in the Civil War. So he is scarred and he's been scarred a lot of his life and he harbors a lot of guilt for something that happened in his past and people judge him for his scar and he heavily talks about not liking his scar. He hides his face from people. He always makes sure he's facing towards her with his good side and like it's very much affected him and so he was sent by his brother to go pick her up and it's going to take them like two weeks to get home because they live like in the middle of nowhere Texas and they fall in love with each other in those two weeks because they are literally traveling just the two of them. They are camping out together. They're staying at someone's house together and they're traveling together and so they only have each other to talk to and they fall in love and it is the sweetest thing ever and the heroine really pulls things out of the hero that he hasn't given anybody else. He's like a recluse. He lives alone. His one brother hasn't even been to his house. Like he is just very detached from people. But she brings out his emotional side and his just like warm side to other people and it's great. I really enjoyed this one and I recommend picking it up. And she's between two brothers though because she is engaged to the other brother and falling for his brother so that adds a little angst in it as well. Then I have a mafia romance which is The Enforcer by Katrina Jackson. This one is book two or three. I think it's book three in the series actually and you should read them in order technically you don't have to but this one is our heroine falling for this guy in the mafia and like her sister and I think it's their cousin are already like paired off with two mafia guys and so she ends up coming to Italy trying to track down her cousin or her sister. She's trying to track down her relative. I don't remember which one was which because she's traveling with one and trying to find the other one because the other one's like just disappeared and she's actually been like shacking up with a guy in the mafia because like she fell in love with him and what happens is they find her but then they realize that they're all in danger because her other relative that she traveled with sees the guy that she hooked up with when she was in Italy and so now it's like those two guys, her two relatives and her and this other guy in the mafia and so they all decide to split up and that one guy takes her back to his hometown and they have to stay together. So he is pretty much like protecting her. It's not bodyguard though but he's definitely protecting her and making sure she's safe and she is uncovering more about him. She just actually got out of a polyamorous relationship with two men. She has to really reflect on what went wrong in that relationship, whose fault it was and just working through her 
heartbreak from that while also falling for the hero and seeing him interact with his parents and his brothers and I really enjoyed this one. I would recommend it for summer because she is traveling to Italy and going to all these places and it's a lot of fun and we get a little mafia intrigue as well. Then I have The Promise of a Kiss by Casey Bateman. This one is actually Kate Bateman and it's a novella and it's in Egypt and I love this one so much. It's another hate to love. Our heroine is a cartographer so she makes maps. So she is in Egypt and our hero is tasked by her aunt to find her and bring her home. They have hated each other for a long time and he ends up finding her and he's like well, I'm gonna have to take you home. I'm being paid for it and she is like absolutely not. I'm gonna finish what I'm doing and then she finds this like cursed artifact and this other guy takes it and he's trying to take it to take it home to like this leader that they don't want to win this war and it's just like so funny because they have to travel together and they get into a lot of hijinks together and it's a forced travel romance. I love a forced proximity where they're forced to travel together. I love it even more when they don't even like each other and then start falling for each other so this one is a lot of fun in the historical setting. Then I have one that was just a short sweet audiobook so it's a novella and that is A Walk in the Park by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I believe I know I listened to this on Audible and I don't remember if it's an Audible exclusive or not, but this one, they end up showing up to a shelter, the hero and the heroine, to adopt a dog and there was a mix-up and they were both going to adopt the same dog and neither one of them wants to give it up. They've always had dreams of this dog and like we're getting ready and prepared for it so they decide to co-parent the dog and they end up falling in love in the process. So they're forced together because of this dog. I thought it was really fun. Very short and sweet romance and if you just want a short fun time, about a couple bonding over a precious puppy, you should check this one out. Then for a bodyguard romance, I have Broken Vow by Sophie Lark. This one I am obsessed with. Our heroine is a lawyer and she is almost killed in her apartment and so her family is horrified and our hero is a like sniper, I believe, from the military. He's not in the military anymore, but he does like a lot of jobs for people and so he accepts uh, the job to protect her and she's like, I don't need protecting. This is ridiculous. I don't need you. Her family does not take no for an answer and so he is tasked with protecting her and spending a lot of time with her and then things get really bad with the threats against her so he whisks her off to his ranch where his family is from and they spend a lot of time together and obviously fall in love and this is like my absolute favorite. Five out of five stars, my favorite of the series. I was obsessed with them. He is definitely more of like the sunshine, like fun character and she's definitely more of a stoic grump character and it was just so good. Then I have Stuck With You by Ali Hazelwood. This one is a novella as well, but the hero and the heroine actually have a one night stand and absolutely click. They have an amazing time together, but then something happens where the heroine is horrified of what she learns and it completely cuts him off. And the hero is very confused. He thought they had a great time and he's trying to think like what he could have done that made her react this way. And so then we fast forward like a week, I think, or something and they get stuck in an elevator together and have to confront what had happened to them. So we get flashbacks between the past when they were getting together and really liking each other to now when they're trying to rehash what had happened to them. And I will say this whole series does depend a lot on the miscommunication trope, so please know that going in. I personally hate miscommunication, but I didn't mind it too much in this book. I thought it was really great. I just loved how they bonded over, like, soccer and, like, really cute things and had to really come forward with what was bothering her and what the misunderstanding was, and I thought it was fun. Very cute novella. I listened to the audiobook through my library, so check that out to see if it's available there, but I don't know when the ebooks are available, if they are or not, but it's available in audio right now. Then I have Love Unexpected by QB Tyler, and this one they are forced together because he's her stepdad but what happens is he is her stepdad when she's in like fifth grade she's never seen him as a father figure and now she is uh like 18 and they do not get along but her mom passes away and so in their grief they do bond with one another and it turns into something more and they live together so it is a forced proximity romance they are always together and they end up going to like their lake house together to get away and grieve and just try to come to terms with their loss and that that's where they end up falling for each other. So there was nothing between them whatsoever when he was her stepdad married to her mom, but the passing of her mother really forced them to talk to each other and work through their grief and fall in love. And I really enjoyed this one. Then I have The Marquest Makes His Move by Dana Quincy. This one, our hero is posing as a footman and he is directed by her husband to be her personal 
not maid, but I guess footman and servant, and it is so good. So our hero is actually high class. He's a Marquess, and he figures out that this map that was made by her husband, it was really her, was cheating him out of his property, and so he is so angry. The lines were drawn incorrectly. He's like, you're cheating me out of land, and he is wanting to go undercover to figure out, like, if it was really him and get his retribution. So he poses as a footman, and he is put in charge of the heroine. The heroine is married to her husband because he had worked in her, I think it was her uncle. It was either her uncle or her father's map making shop and she is a really talented cartographer and she has actually been making all the maps that her husband takes credit for. She's doing it on purpose though, like she knows because women don't get a lot in society at that time so she is okay with making her maps as long as she gets to make them. She just doesn't get credit and she starts falling for her footman and it is so cute because she is married and off limits and he is really a Marquess and he's hiding his identity and he's falling for her and they spend so much time together and he realizes there's a lot more to her and a lot more to the map making and what had actually happened and it's so cute when he's trying to understand how to be a servant and learning the ropes from the other servants and they're like you really don't know what you're doing do you so they're a little suspicious of him and I just really love this book so much five stars one of my new favorite historicals please read it and the last one I have is Little Fire this is a fantasy romance and our hero and our heroine actually end up being thrown through a portal together and stranded in this other land until the hero's people can come find him. It's very hard to explain, but our heroine is like working at this market with her best friend and these evil guys come in and they start killing people and they're like making portals. They almost drag her away, but the hero's there with like his soldiers trying to protect people, sees what's happening and like jumps with her through a portal and it closes and they're stuck in this land together and have to survive together and then he brings her back once his men finally rescue them and he is like, you're mine and I love how hard he fell for her and they did spend a lot of time in this place together trying to survive and I just really enjoy this one definitely a very unique fantasy romance I definitely want to continue on in the series because it was a lot of fun but they are forced to survive together and they are literally the only two stranded in this place because the people there don't want anything to do with them and so they pretty much leave them alone and I had a lot of fun because she really doesn't trust him but it was fun getting to see the world and her uh, react to then being at his kingdom and understanding how everything works there. And those are some forced proximity romances. Let me know if you have any other recommendations and your favorite forced proximity romances. I would love to hear it. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.